I didn't travel thousands of miles to eat at a McDonald's. It even smells the same here. <laughs> it's prettier inside, though. It's prettier. It's definitely nice. Probably the nicest McDonald's I've been in, though. Still McDonald's. Still McDonald's. Bunch of funky cars. Here's a funny Honda. Yeah, Turbo Subaru. No, Oops, thanks. Here's another one. B4 wagon. Oh, man. Yep, here's our hotel. We're gonna have to go home to snow in like seven days. Boo! All right, we got some uh, cafe, and now we're going to Anzac Park over right here. A N Z A C. not quite 10 o'clock yet, so none of the businesses are open at the storefronts. So this is a World War II memorial. Great War, Korean War, what was on the other side? And World War II again. Oh, Vietnam right there. There's a croquet field. Try again. I'm good. In there. Look. There's a clock from Back to the Future. They reused it here in New Zealand. Thank you. All right, Jen Hansen's right here. That's where they made the Lord of the Ring uh, band. It wasn't crafted in the bowels of Mordor. No. And, uh, it was crafted in the bowels of that store. She said it was just a plain gold band and then um, they made it. It was really thick. It's kind of like thick like this. But then it was a gold band and then in the movie they computerized the engraving on the ring. Yep. And then you could buy replicas and they were like sterling silver one was probably 200 New Zealand dollars. <laughs> it just Up to like yeah. 4500 for a platinum. Yeah, it was ridiculous. <laughs> it was pretty cool though. Yeah. All right. Just found some giant artichokes. Cool. Yeah. Okay, we're in the Queen's Garden that's not next to the cathedral. We've seen it from our hotel. Look at this funky tree they got going here. I don't know if you can see it very well. But like, okay, here's a trunk, and then here's a branch and it loops down and it goes back up and then keeps going up there and then there's like <clears throat> limbs and regular cherry growth coming off of that one. Isn't that weird? There's two, it's doing it on two sides. That's crazy. Hello. I bought new clothes so I look more like a local person. Here, give him a shot. Getting ready for us to go out to dinner, so I thought I'd just show you um, the difference in currencies from New Zealand to American. Uh, check out the coins. They got $2 coins. I don't know if you can see that. We got $1 coins. A 50 cent piece. 20 cents. And 10 cents. So no pennies, no nickels. And on one side, of course, it's, you know, the queen is on one side, and they have wildlife and ships and whatever on that.
other side, as far as bills go, $5 bill, little penguin guy on one side, um, Sir Edmund Hillary on the other side. They're kind of cool. They got this little clear spot, plastic, I guess it's like a verification thing, and of course a watermark. Now your $10 has a duck of some sort. And uh, Kate Shepard. Twenty dollars is the queen because this is probably the one that's used most often. Some kind of a hawk. Fifty is some dude I've never heard of. And uh, a bird that I've never heard of. And hundred dollar bill is um, Lord Rutherford Nelson, which is. We're in Nelson right now, so some kind of little chickadee or something on the other side. It's weird too because the sizes of them are kind of strange. From the hundred dollar to the five dollar, there's quite a difference in size. You can see the width. It's kind of cool. I don't know if that's like for blind people or whatever, but anyway, it's a little bit different than U.S. So kind of cool. Bye. Here's some things you need to, uh, that's kind of different here from New Zealand. First thing is the uh, light switches, alright. They're tiny. And then it's the opposite, so down would be on, and then up is off, alright. And then the toilet. They don't have restrooms here, they call them, everything is called a toilet. If it's an outhouse or if you're in a restaurant, there's no restroom, it's just a toilet. Anyways. <clears throat> They have two buttons. One for using this one would be the half amount of water. And then this one, the second one, which would be using all of the water in the tank. And that's for if you put too much in the hole. <laughs> then the other thing is uh, most hotels will be uh, energy um, efficient. And then this is your key card for to get into your hotel this would be right here and then that'll turn on all the lights and the power accessories in the hotel the oh yeah and um... This, here's the electrical socket here and then the outlets Okay. also same thing with the switch like the light switch you have to turn on and off the uh... the socket so <sighs> That's what Amy kind of messed up on. <laughs> She's like, why isn't the tea going? And I was like, you got to turn on the, the outlet. And oh, there you go. And they're slanted. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, guys, I'm sorry that um, Nelson's been kind of a bummer, uh, this city so far, because um, it's kind of like an old person town. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, retirement yeah. Board. And, um... Jeez, you know, pretty. it's very pretty here, but um, there's just not a whole lot to do right at the moment. We got one thing planned to do that's going to be pretty sweet. Um, tomorrow will be Monday, and then all the shops will be open. And uh, I guess today's Sunday, like today's Sunday, and um, it's just really slow on those business days. Everything closes at 4. Yeah, everything is like from 10 to 4. you got to hit it just right, so... Sorry. It's been fun though. Yeah, I guess the Saturday market is a pretty big deal here too. Yeah. Yep. Anything to add? We went shopping. Yeah, we're doing that tomorrow also. Yeah, we're doing that tomorrow too. They have some cool stores. Mm hmm. I don't recognize any of the brand names. <clears throat> Not really. They had the body shop. They had the body shop. And everything else is just random. Starbucks. I, well, yeah, Starbucks, and I don't recognize anything else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. <clears throat>